You can't auto-generate subtitles in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Now, what do I mean? DaVinci Resolve or the version of DaVinci Resolve that is paid for, DaVinci Resolve Studio, allows you to auto-generate subtitles inside DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you try to use uh, the Create Subtitles feature or the Audio Transcription feature in DaVinci Resolve, the free version, let's just right-click on any timeline there and just on any media and then just click on Transcribe, you'll get this notification. You've reached a limitation with DaVinci Resolve. So obviously, this is a paid feature. Now, I'd like to say the following to the folks at DaVinci Resolve stroke black magic. Just give us uh, the free transcription option. Uh, leave the editing uh, of uh, the transcripts and everything to the uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio. But now, these are just two workarounds or two tools I'd highly recommend that you use. And also another way to actually uh, kind of create some title, subtitles uh, from this is just uh, with uh, your audio selected or video. Go to timeline, create subtitles from audio and you get the same interface. Now, uh, probably not the best thing you'd like to see uh, once you're done with your project. So, for this video, I'm going to be using two tools. Uh, number one, they're free, is Subtitle Edit. It's available for Windows uh, and uh, Linux. Uh, 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 Mac version needs to exist, but it's not there as of now. And the next one is going to be Buzz, uh, more or less. Let's go back to here. It transcribes and translates audio on your personal computer, uh, powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Uh, as for subtitle edit, you can either use Whisper or Vosk uh, models and all that. So, my assumption is you're done with your video, uh, making your edits and everything. Obviously, what you'll need to do is just render the file first uh, and then you bring it back into uh, DaVinci Resolve. So, my assumption is you've rendered your video and I do have my video right here. And now I'm going to create uh, automatic subtitles for this particular clip. So I'm going to go to subtitle edit first and click on video, open video file and navigate to the folder with that particular video I've rendered out in DaVinci Resolve and just click on it, open. And from here, I'll just go to video, audio to text whisper. I'm going to use the engine const to me and I'll choose a small model and then click on generate. Once I click on generate, it's going to take a breeze, a couple of seconds, and it's done. And you can see it. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use descripts. Now, obviously, there are some slight mistakes, as with anything with AI, uh, and maybe because English is not a fast language to me. So you can make your edits to your transcript or subtitles right inside here until you're satisfied with what you have. But let's assume I'm satisfied. I'll click on a file, save us. Uh, and call it subtitle edit save uh, we can minimize this and back in DaVinci Resolve I can just come to my folder here and drag and drop my subtitle right there now our subtitle from subtitle edit is here just drag and drop it right inside there uh, let's see if we zoom in and uh, the reason why I'm doing uh, the zoom in is because the subtitle should start around here. But you can notice that there's some sort of frame here. So obviously, uh, you'll need to make sure that everything aligns correctly. So I can just highlight this and then just move it. Uh, Control Z. Make sure you highlight all the subtitles before you move. So let's assume it's right there. So if we just move this here. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Descript's eye contact feature to simulate eye You can see they've been timed perfectly. And obviously, uh, if you just double click on the subtitle, just any, it brings up the inspector uh, right here. And then you can start making uh, changes uh, to your captions. Just double click on it to go into the caption, make changes, style your captions the way you want uh, right inside here. So. That's using uh, subtitle edit. We've done that in just record time. So I don't know why DaVinci Resolve struck black, black magic decided not to include this. Just leave the editing of the transcript out of it. Uh, like you can edit your video with a transcript, just leave it out. But leave, just give the, the captioning or transcription uh, feature in bare bones. Nothing, nothing much to do there. So 
Uh, next up, let's remove this, delete this. So obviously, same workflow. Let's assume you're done with your video. You've rendered it uh, from DaVinci Resolve. Uh, and now you want to use Buzz. The next one, as I've mentioned, is Buzz. Uh, it transcribes your audio, translates your audio offline on your computer. It's powered by OpenAI's Whisper. So this is what we are going to use. I'll just come to Buzz. I've downloaded and installed it on my computer. And uh, let's go to the releases. I believe this should be available for uh, Windows and Mac. And I believe Linux, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, Windows and Mac is available. Uh, there used to be a Linux version. Not sure what happened. But I've downloaded this particular one, a 1.5 1 GB file. And now I'm going to come to Buzz, the installed version. And I can just come here to my file and just uh, drag and drop it right there. And once I do that, a new dialog box is going to pop up. Clip3.mp4, the model. There is Whisper, Whisper CPP, Hugging Face, Faster Whisper, OpenAI's Whisper. I'm going to go with Whisper. And by default, uh, there's some slight models loaded. I believe it's the tiny. I had to download the small model. If you want good results, go with the large models. But obviously, they're going to be a little bit heavy on your system and will take up more memory and all that. So what task do we want to do? We want to transcribe. You can let it uh, uh, like detect the language. I'll not make any other changes right here. So I'll just click on Run. And once I do that, it's going to begin and you can see the progress right here and the date and the time. You'll see an, a flash on your computer, but that's it. It's already completed in seven seconds. So where are your subtitles? I'll just double click on this and you can see your subtitles here. Uh, probably not what you'd like to see and I'm going to maximize it, uh, especially if you want uh, uh, subtitles, some sort of like characters per line and all that. So. How do you kind of break this down quickly? I'm going to click on resize and then say enter the target characters per subtitle that I want. Uh, let's say we go with something like 37 and then click on OK. Once I do that, you're going to see your subtitles uh, broken down into the like 37 characters per line. Once I'm satisfied, I'm just going to click on export SRT and this is going to actually give you an extended file name. But let me just remove all that up to dot SRT and just put in a dash buzz dot SRT. Click on save. I can just uh, just bring this down a little bit and then we can go back into DaVinci Resolve our folder. And now we have the buzz uh, subtitle and I'll just drag and drop it right there. So we're back in DaVinci Resolve. Just drag and drop it where you want it to be somewhere right about there uh, and because we already had one subtitle added i'll just move this up slightly you'll notice that this, this subtitle is disabled you can just enable that particular subtitle uh, and see how it looks like and if i play this in this tutorial let's just bring this down In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Descript's eye contact feature to simulate eye contact with a camera even when you're reading from a script. Welcome to this video. You can see it's given us a really good option. So obviously, as with anything, we'll need to kind of make some edits. We'll need to merge some text with uh, some of uh, all these things that we're doing here. But uh, that is how all those are free tools that you can use. And I'm not sure why DaVinci decided to kind of not just give the bare bones for the transcription and captioning uh, right inside uh, here. Most of the free uh, video editing applications have them. Caden Live, uh, I believe all those other applications have just uh, a free option for this. And obviously the editing uh, is, uh, is that you can make your edits the way you want them right inside here. So make your edits uh, to the transcript and so on and so forth. And once you're satisfied, just go to render. Uh, if you wanted to render with your subtitles as band in, always remember subtitle settings, export subtitle as a separate file or ban into video. Depending on what you want, it's going to be band in once you make that particular selection. 
but these are two ways and i'll leave links in the description below subtitle edit and bars are two free tools that you can use if you have the free version of davinci resolve and want to add automatic subtitles uh, to your videos i hope this video is of value to you thank you so much for watching